Welcome all. Tomorrow lunch is here at home with beautiful two soul friends. So we are four. And it's not by accident, no accident by accident. There's the best restaurant in Lebanon. And all what they do is like nothing vegetarian, but only on Friday. And I go there. And the owner of this restaurant, he goes and he is a fisher. And he just sits there and waits for the fish to come. This is what he loves to do. And very few of us, they go there and we buy. So tomorrow are four friends at the house eating siyadiyye and kibbit samak. But it's totally different. And we'll put it on the web. Only this man does it. This is his joy. Very few they can appreciate what he does. Because it's unique. So on Fridays I go there and I have to order it before. A few days before that. Okay. And I ordered four and we are four. So you can have fish once in a while. But the white one where there is no blood. White fish. And not from the seashore or beaches. Take your boat and go very far from all this sewage system. And when he cooks it, it's all with stainless steel pots. We show you what a stainless steel pot. It's very expensive. Small pot, like $300. But who is more expensive? You, your health. What is the wealth for? What is the money for? Just buy one pair of shoes. You don't need more. But the best food means you have no need to drugs or surgery or doctors or hospitals. I have a very close hospital near my home here. And I met one of the big assholes. Sorry for the asshole. He told me he is a heart surgeon. He said 20% only what I do is sometimes good but 80% for the money I said why don't you resign why don't you talk about alternative or natural medicine he said I tried he told me don't be another Mariam Noor she's a great danger I'm a danger I'm a bitch I'm a shit I'm a prostitute whatever what you discharge it's what is in your cup I'm only a mirror for you. But just remember what Christ ate. Eat my body, he said. And drink this wine or this water or my blood for a new destination, for a new resurrection. Every moment there is death and birth. So what are we doing? Why so much surgeries and drugs and hospitals? When are we going to wake up? I am responsible for my body. This is my only home and temple and coffin. This is the tomb and the womb. Can't you see this? A woman at this age, the age of my body. How can I speak or share with you this flow? All the business people, the priests and the politicians, they have a paper. They write for them. And then they don't know how to read it. And then when they go all this, uh, what they say, community, they meet or whatever. They do great meeting for the Arabs, great meeting for this. This is not a meeting. This is like ready the meet to go into another meet. Meet, M-E-A-T, with the another meet. Penis with the vagina. And there's no penis and no vagina and no fucking. A woman stopped me, you know, in one of the Arab countries. And she said, I just want to ask you, how can I make my lips like my vagina? The plastic surgery, vagina and lips. Because with the lips and the chewing, at the straight, chew and chew, it means come fuck me. This is now 
nothing is into election but the erection. This is what we are. This is where we are. Are we aware of who we are? Are we aware of this awareness? Am I aware of who I am? This amnes, this identity? What I am here for? To have children? The rabbits, they can have much more. Many rats. To have more buildings? Take them with you to the grave. To be another Christ, yes, another Muhammad, another Ali, another Rabi'ah, an enlightened being. This is who you are. Lit your candle, lit your lamp, and share the color with the colors and the light with the light. But the mind is telling us all the time, do this and do this, and that and that and that. Many people, they sit and they shake like this, and they do like this, and they're sh- 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 cracking. In Islam, in the nature of our being, we have abolition, al-wudu, and there is al-wudu al-akbar. And a beautiful story about this. A man who went to hell, a beautiful banquet, but nobody can eat. They're trying. What's going on? And the devil said, look, when you die, you have no elbow. So, oh, I cannot eat all this beautiful. I'll take you to heaven. And they went to heaven. The same banquet, the same food, the same place. And everybody is eating. How come? He said, look at them. They have no elbows, but they are eating. He said, look. We don't know how to look. Just look and see. Let the heart look. Ah, and everybody is feeding. So what goes around always comes around. Keep whirling until you become the ring.